My phone rang and my doctor told me that I had cancer. My name is Carrie Tegas and I am a warrior fighting cervical cancer. About a year and a half ago, I said, oh, I need to get in shape. And I just started working out like a crazy person and it just felt so good. But then I would always be so tired and then I would blame it on, oh, so I just worked out for three hours, so that's why I'm exhausted. Didn't think anything like this would ever happen to me and just enjoyed life. My journey began in about March and I was having some symptoms that I wasn't familiar with. So I knew something was wrong. I went on WebMD as most of us do and self-diagnose and went to the doctor and they agreed with me that it was a, a bacterial infection and sent me on my way with meds and it went away after a couple days and thought it was done from there. After that, it came back in about a month a couple days after the, that round of medication, it came back again. Finally, I got to a doctor that was like, well, we need to figure out that there was actually something more going on. So she did give me a pap smear. She found cancerous cells. And so after that point, she scheduled me for a colposcopy. She said she would call within a week to give me my results, and she called me the next day. So I knew it was, I knew it was bad. I had surgery on October 31st and that's when they knew that it was, it was pretty bad. It went from stage one to four, very, very quickly. We all are a little frightened of going to the doctor and finding out that there's something really wrong, especially when you don't think that there's anything wrong. This is a very slow moving kind of cancer. I've probably had it five to 10 years. It comes from the HPV. They didn't have a vaccination for in my day. 80% of people have HPV and they don't even know it. Most of the time it goes away for people, but it didn't for me, you know, and it's, it's not something that you even know that you have. There's probably millions more like me and there's, you know, women that I didn't have health insurance yet through my, my work that thinks it's too expensive or, you know, doesn't want to go to the doctor or they're afraid or they just don't have time. It is so simple. They can catch it early. They can get rid of it. We need to be taking care of ourselves because you know, you don't want to leave your children at an early age. You know, I'm 36. I want people to know that they need to get tested. Do it for your loved ones, if not for yourself. Do it for the people, because I'm going to be leaving the people I love. It is so critical because it is just a couple minute procedure that can save your life.